In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on chain rule. The previous question that we did is very clear, I hope. The next question which we are doing was asked in the CBSC previous year examination of 1993. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started. It says that differentiate with respect to x for y is equal to e ki power x or e raised to the power x plus log x upon sine 3x. As you can see, the numerator has two terms, the denominator has one term. So it is numerator upon denominator. That means the quotient rule that we have to apply. Let me write down quotient rule for you. If there are two functions, u and v, and you have to find the derivative with respect to x of u and v, considering u and v are the functions of x, then what happens is, then basically you already know that d by dx is very easy to find out. How to find out d by dx? It says that in case of two functions u and v, you can directly go by u dash v minus u v dash whole upon v square. The same story, the same thing we are going to see here, the same analogy we are going to apply. The analogy is such that u is the numerator, v is the denominator. That we have to see. Now let's see the answer. The solution we are going to write the heading. This is a CBSC previous year examination question. Let's pay more attention to it. The numerator is given. If I say that e raised to the power x is there, log x is there, sine 3x is there. First of all, let's see what all things we would be needing. We would be needing u dash. That means the numerator's differentiation. What is the numerator's differentiation? Let's explicitly find it out. So as to save space in our solution. If I say that let my u is equal to e raised to the power x plus log x, what is u dash? Means differentiation with respect to x. It is nothing but differentiation of the first term which remains the same and differentiation of second term which is log x. What is the differentiation of log x? It is 1 by x. That is one thing that we have already found out. What else would we be needing? V. V is nothing but denominator. Sin 3x, very easy. Next is u. u is the numerator, very easy. V dash, what is V dash? We have to see. So if let V is equal to sin 3x, what is V dash? V dash is the differentiation of sin 3x. Now apply the chain rule. Had it been sin x, the differentiation was cos x. But this time x is not only x but 3x. So what is the differentiation of 3x? 3 is a constant, will come outside. x is differentiation 1. So it is 3 cos 3x. Now just make one thing clear in your mind. Maybe some of you will have this thing as a doubt. Why we are assuming u is equal to something, v is equal to something? Then it will become sub substitution and not chain rule. No my dear students, this is not substitution till you are just doing everything by substitution. You are following chain rule only. You see that the formula has u and v. That is why you assume things as u and v. Right? Because you write the formula in the examination. You write using this formula. Right? So you have to make it clear to the examine, examine, examiner or the paper checker that yes, I have assumed u as this, v as this. That is the only reason we are assuming u is equal to something, v is equal to something. Right? Now, v square is already done. Now, let's see the differentiation. So, it is if y is equal to this, my dy by dx by the formula is u dash v. What is u dash? e raised to the power x plus 1 by x. u dash v. What is v? v is the denominator. Right? Minus u v dash. What is u? e raised to the power x plus log x. What is v dash? 3 cos 3x whole upon v square. So whole upon v square. I hope this makes sense. Now one more thing to be made clear that dy by dx the equal to has to be made in alignment with the upon sign. So it is better you write it that way. Right? Now any things can come out as common. If yes, please do take it out as common. You see that we have e raised to the power x both ways. So you can take it common. If you do not want, you can even leave this as answer. But it is better to simplify. So you take e raised to the power x as common from everywhere. 
and let's open up the terms first so that things becomes clear for you the first term is this the second term is something like this the third term is something like this and the fourth term see minus and here also minus so it is something like this and in the denominator everything is there and everything is nothing but very easy for us to understand it is nothing but what it is actually the sine squared 3x so let's make things more clear 3 log x cos 3x and this had nothing but x in its denominator and let's make upon the upon shows that we are basically going for the division and it is sine squared 3x I am actually solving it in a lengthy way each step showing to you so that you understand it when you have much of the practice directly you can take out things common right so e raised to the power x you can take out as common then you are left with final answer which is nothing but sin 3x minus 3 cos 3x then is minus 3 log other terms are what other terms are minus 3 log x cos 3x and plus sin 3x upon x and since this is only simplification everybody will have their own ways somebody will not take some people will not take e raised to the power x common maybe they'll take sin 3x common even that is very fine the final solution should be such that the answer should be such that it should be in the simplest possible manner so this question was question number two based on chain rule i hope you learned it clearly and stay tuned for the next video which also shows chain rule question number three